Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to the next tutorial video here on Duct Tape Creations. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm showing you how to make a duct tape ruler. Uh, so it's going to be really cool. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, so let's get started. Alright, so making a duct tape ruler is really simple. It's a really nice beginner's project out of duct tape if, you, uh, if you're just starting off with duct tape crafting, uh, which is really nice. Uh, so all you're going to need for this is just two strips of tape uh, to whatever length you want. I have these at 12 inches long, which is the same length as my ruler here. And then you can make these uh, as long or as short as you want. So you can make you can pretty much customize the size of your ruler, which is awesome. Uh, that's one thing that's cool about duct uh, one thing that's cool about duct tape. Okay, so we're just gonna flip the first strip over here so all the sticky sides showing as you can see. And we're gonna take our second strip. And we're just gonna uh, stick it right on top of the first one, covering up all the sticky side. And just do the best you can. It can be a little bit tricky sticking together long strips of tape. Uh, but just do the best you can to try and cover up as much sticky side as you possibly can. Uh, so there we go. You can see I have a little bit of the stu uh, stuff left over here. I didn't get it absolutely perfect, but that's all right. You can just—it's no, no harm done. You can just take your exacto knife uh, or hobby knife, sorry, uh, or scissors and just trim off any of the excess that you have left over here. As you can see, that's all you gotta do. Really easy. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Just gonna do this out here real quick. Alright, so that's pretty much your ruler done. It's a really simple creation to make. And so now, something else you can do, you can cut out, um, uh, well actually one thing, uh, sorry, got tongue tied, uh, lost my train of thought. What I was gonna say, um, was, uh, right now you can see it's kind of flexi uh, flexible, uh, so it kind of bends a lot. An easy way to fix that is cutting out, uh, more strips, which I'm just gonna do that here real quick. Okay, so it's cutting out more strips of tape like this. I'm just going to stick this right down on top of there and just lay it down like that, covering up uh, the strips of stick you would before. And we're just going to cut off this little bit of extra tape here at the end. If I can figure out where not to cut the actual pieces of it. Okay. So that's pretty much a uh, way you can make this a lot firmer so it doesn't flex as much. Uh, just sticking down strips on top of it. You can put as many strips as you want on this to make so it doesn't bend at all, which is pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, now, so that's another way you can do this so it's not as flexible. Now if you want it to be kind of fl uh, flexible, you can so you, you can like fold it up and put it in like a bag or something to carry around, just like a portable ruler, uh, you can do that, that's your choice, it's pre that's pretty cool, it's pretty simple. Uh, so that's pretty much, that's pretty much your ruler done. Uh, so now if you don't want the ruler to be like this, uh, this wide, which is the normal width of duct tape, you can just cut out one strip of tape here, and you can just take this and fold it in half. Uh, so just take the strip, take the strip here at the end, and just start folding it in half. I can get this here. Now it, it is a little tricky to start to start getting uh, start getting the tape folding in half because duct tape does not want to fold over on itself. So just keep that in mind and be careful while doing this. Just take your time and slowly work your way down to the bottom. Uh, so I remember when I first started doing this, I had a hard time, but uh, once you get better at it, you can get this pretty well done. I'm still kind of uh, new at uh, still kind of a uh, I'm not sure what word you'd use, but I'm still not that great at uh, folding tape in half. Uh, but once you take your time and get it done, it turns out really nice. And work out as many of the air bubbles that may form as you can, because that can happen. And there may be like a little bit of wrinkles, like this one here, if you can see that. Uh, that's no big deal. Uh, you can just like try and flatten that off if you want. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for the rulers. Uh, so you can have a slim or a normal or like a really thick uh, ruler. It's pretty cool, and when to make this one so it's not as flexible, you can do the same thing. Take more strips of tape and just uh, stick them down here so it becomes more sturdy. Uh, so yeah, um, so making the lines to actually make this a ruler uh, is to, you're just gonna take a pen, any pen you want. It can just be one of these little cheap ones you buy in stores, uh, or you can use uh, a sharpie, anything you want. That's all up to you. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ruler here your actual ruler and just gonna stick it right next to your uh, duct tape strip here which will become the ruler and you're just gonna want to hold this in place and line it up with each line that's on the ruler so start at zero and work your way up to one inch and just mark and just follow where it is on the actual ruler itself uh, so we're just gonna come over here and we'll keep going down the line uh, so now with these ones that are a lot wider uh, you can do more with it uh, so when it comes to doing both sides of the rulers, so we have the inches here, and I'm sorry, I honestly cannot, rem I honestly can't remember what this side is called or what it's used for. Uh, I know it's for measuring as well, but like uh, there's more, there's more measurements on this side. I'm not, 
I'm not really that great with that kind of knowing that kind of thing. Uh, but with this wider ruler, you can easily fit both sides, which is pretty nice. Uh, with this thin ruler, you can pretty much only fit fit one side. Uh, that's no big deal. That's your choice how you want to set this up. Uh, so just keep coming your way down. I'm here at four inches already, and just going to go to uh, just keep coming down and marking with your pen. And if you want to mark the half inch here, you can do that. So just go right there. Let me move that's getting stuck in my hand. Uh, so yeah, just going to keep getting. So that's pretty much all you do there. So that's pretty much how you're going to make the ruler. Uh, I'll move this into camera view so you can see it. Uh, so there you go. So now if you want to, you can mark all the smaller lines in between these if you want. That is up to you. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now just for time's sake. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And if you want to, you can also just take uh, your pen and just uh, mark the number here right above the line as, you, as a normal ruler would have. Just going to do that here real quick. So that's really simple to do. Just mark it, and it's pretty much have your ruler. Uh, so you can see that there. It looks really cool. Uh, so you can just do this all the way down to the end of your ruler, whatever length you made it, and that's pretty much it for that. Uh, so now one thing I want to mention, uh, you can take some of the clear packaging tape. If I can actually find a roll here, it's going to get up real quick and find it. Sorry about that. All right. I got it. So sorry about that again. I just had to go grab it. Uh, so you can just use any clear tape you want. That's up to you. I just prefer to use uh, the clear tape from Duck Brand. Uh, as you may know, I've said that a few videos ago, or a few video in a few of my videos. I'm just going to take this and just uh, stick it right on top of here and just seal that down, and just cut it here at the end. Uh, so there we go. So you can just get rid of all, work out all the air bubbles that you don't need there, or you don't want there. I mean to say. And that's pretty much your duct tape ruler. Really simple. Just cut off the excess clear tape if you have it at the end. And there we go. Looks really awesome. And you can use other pens that make a darker line so you can see a little bit better. Uh, so that's up to you. So really cool. So that's making a duct tape ruler. You can do the same thing with this uh, slim one here. Uh, so hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any ideas for the uh, next tutorial or time lapse, let me know in the comments below. Uh, or you can check out the Twitter page and Facebook page. And let me know in comments on the stuff I post there, uh, or tweet me back on Twitter, which is pretty cool. I uh, pretty much post everything that's on the channel to both those pages. So if you want to keep up with that stuff, go check them out, uh, so you'll pretty much be updated anytime. So that's really awesome. And if you like what you see on the channel, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate some new subscribers. I always like to see uh, new people come. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video, hit that like button. Really appreciate some help uh, for the channel. It help, well, it helps support the channel. I mean to say, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, so thanks, uh, thanks again for watching. As I always say, just enjoy the wonder that's duct tape.